Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate upvote answers on Quora using Socinator. If there are answers you want to upvote on Quora, then Socinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your Quora account and hit Go to Tools. This will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Quora through Socinator. Let's click Upvote Answers. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to upvote a number of answers within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for upvote answers activity. Let's start with the Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted answers to upvote. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query type defines how you want to search the answer. You can select the query type by clicking the drop down button. Once you have chosen your query type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click the add queries to the list button and it will be added to the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For custom URLs, we need a specific Quora answer URL. Let's say you want to target this answer for example. Click this button over here. Then click copy link. Paste the link in the query box then click add. So this will target this specific Quora answer and upvote it. Next we have keywords. Let's type amazing for example. Then click add. So this will target answers containing this keyword and upvote them. Next, we have custom users. For this one, we need a specific profile URL on Quora. Let's say this is the profile URL of the user you want to target. Paste it in this area, then click Add. So this will target the answers of this specific Quora user and upvote them. The last one is topic list. For this one, we need a specific Quora topic. Let's say you want to target this topic, for example. Copy the topic ID over here. Paste it in the query box, then click Add. So this will target the answers on that Quora topic and upvote them. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to delete the third one, click it, and it's gone. The next configuration category is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should upvote answers. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like Slow with an average daily activities of 41, Medium with 83, Fast with 166, or Super Fast with 333. Superfast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, Click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each answer is upvoted. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after upvoting the number of answers you set in number of answers to upvote per job. Number of answers to upvote per job will allow you to specify the number of answers to upvote per job or per cycle. You can also specify the number of answers to upvote per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max answers to upvote per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep upvoting answers even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite, let's call it Quora upvote answers click save we can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing quora upvote answers the next tool is answer filters this allows us to filter the answers we want to upvote on quora 
Check the first one to specify the minimum and maximum number of the answer's upvote count. Next is the answer's view count. Then finally, you can specify the minimum and maximum number of the last answer days count. The last configuration category is Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the Quora accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not upvote the answers of blacklisted users. This can either be a private blacklist which belongs to a specific Quora account or a group blacklist which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start upvoting answers on Quora, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating upvote answers on Quora using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select Quora. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the voting tab and select Upvote Answers on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Quora Upvote Answers. For search query, let's select Topic List as our query type, then paste the same topic ID from earlier, then click Add. For job configuration, let's select Slow. For answer filters, it's up to you. Then let's manage blacklisted users' private blacklist. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, Select Account or Accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Quora accounts. Since we only have one, let's go with that by checking the box, then click Save. After saving, let's click the red button, Create Campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the Save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab, where you can see that we have successfully created our Quora Upvote Answers campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign, and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot, and thank you so much for watching.